You hear the seatbelt chime and think turbulence. But sometimes, it's not the captain. It's the aircraft flipping the switch by itself. On many Airbus jets, the seatbelt sign can be set to auto, based on altitude and flight phase. Climb above 10,000 feet, the system switches it off. Descend back through 10,000, it comes back on, no hands needed. On some Boeing jets, the logic goes deeper, linking seatbelt control with airspeed changes or turbulence detection. If the jet accelerates quickly or hits chop, the sign reactivates automatically. It's tied into systems like auto throttle or flight management. It's not always about passenger comfort, it's about crew workload. Automating the sign removes one more task during busy phases like climb and descent. But it's not foolproof, pilots can override it or ignore it. Some airlines, they just leave it on from gate to gate. So when that ding sounds mid-cruise, don't assume it's a storm. It might be logic kicking in or a sudden change in airspeed. And when the sign doesn't turn off, that's not always caution. Sometimes it's just policy or insurance. Next time you hear that ding, ask yourself, was it turbulence or just a polite little algorithm doing its job? Ever flown a whole flight with the sign never off?